this back for you. You're, you're Dr. Richard Byrne, correct? I am, yep. Yeah. Um, surgeon. I was told that uh, I, this, this examination could be videotaped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not my face. Your face can't be videotaped? Right. Okay, I, I didn't know that. Well, why would you want it anyway? The reason is that some of the companies have, di have had difficulties with photoshopping the images. I, if you if you don't want this your face videotaped, that's fine. Yeah, that's because yeah, otherwise mean, it's. I I've read what the workman's comp says, and it says the exam can be photoed, and, and there's okay, no problem. Okay, that, that's it. fine. If you you say your your face cannot be videotaped, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I We're mean good. that. I mean if that's what you feel comfortable with. That's what, it's what I'm familiar with for working for some of the I other mean, companies. I mean, my attorney said it could be videotaped, but if you're saying your face cannot be videotaped, that's fine. Yeah. I'm preserving my small right to prevent having my person put on the internet, for instance. Okay. Well, privacy things. All right. You, you, you but still otherwise, you're good. Okay, it, it, I understand. Like I said, you, the exam can be photoed, video, no problem. The examination can be videotaped. Your face cannot be videotaped. There you go. That's what you're saying, Dr. Yep. Richard Byrne. Yep. I understand. Okay. Yeah, now I'm going to go through your record, I think just yesterday. And it looked to me, uh, and we'll go back and backtrack all this stuff, it looked to me like you're scheduled to have a bunch of new tests coming up. Are they on the, have they been approved yet? Do you know? I, the only, I, the only exam that I've had recently is an MRI that Dr. Zeidman ordered. Okay. And I had that done recently. Other than that, I have no scheduled exams other than this today. Okay, well, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, today is about the date of injury. Uh, injury 5-9-2011, right? Yes. And at that time you were said to be a... What was your job title? I was a caseworker. And you're dealing with uh, somewhere I read child abuse cases or something of that nature? Yes. Uh, and who did you work for? On Doga County. And how long did you hold that job? Approximately six months. What did you do before? I worked uh, at a security monitoring firm. Well, what is that? Does that mean you watch video stuff? Or? Yes. Security monitoring on video screens. Okay, so you're in the central room. Burglar. You were not walking around doing stuff. Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, Okay, now somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I, you were involved in a self defense course as yes. part of your training for your job? Mandatory self defense okay. training course. And tell me exactly how you were hurt. The instructor asked me to choke him. I put my arms around his neck. He performed the maneuver where my arms went up in the air and he karate chopped me on the left side of my neck. Is this something that they do? periodically run through the self-defense stuff? Is that a common sort of thing? I don't really know much about that. I don't know. 
I just know there was an email and it was mandatory. And I went with several other employees. Did you, um, did, you ha did you have to do something like that prior to starting the job? No. So this was, you've been there six months and then you didn't? Correct. <clears throat> I mean, in your experience in the six months, did you get into violent confrontations with people? I mean, was that usually part of the job? Or? Nothing physical. Nothing physical. What exactly did you do? Did you go out and do interviews and things like that? Uh, yes. Went out and did interviews. Uh, talked to, uh, you know, children at schools. Uh, and then their parents at their homes or... or uh, wherever their uh, parents wanted to meet. Okay, and then you filed reports? Uh, correct. And you weren't responsible for physically removing kids or anything? Well, there, right? it was part of my job duties, but that never happened. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, during my, you know, that never, had, that wasn't something I had to do. Yeah, your experience, it wasn't a physical uh, thing, in other words. No, I mean, I've had, you know, Children, you know, get, you know, they would, one child, you know, picked up a plant, dumped it on top of his head, and dirt went all over his head. And, you know, I had children act out, but, uh, you know, no one ever touched me. Yeah. Just, you know. Okay, now, from going through the record here, I, I noticed that you've seen several docs. Um, we have an emergency room report from community, 516, so that would be back toward the beginning. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of this. I believe that, yes, 516. 516. Sounds right. And then Dr. Wolf, I think. So they, for a bit. emergency room referred me to Dr. Wolf. Um, do you recall what he did treatment-wise or diagnostically? Or? He, he uh, did x-ray, I think he did MRIs, and uh, I'll tell you what, let me, let me move this along a little bit because there's no reason I have to go through every last little bit since I have the medical records. I have records from Dr. Wolf, from Dr. Schaefer, uh, from a psychologist who evaluated you, I think, or somebody, nurse maybe. Um, but my impression, right or wrong, is that you're now seeing Dr. Um, Zeidman in Rochester and Dr. Amaduri for pain management. Is that impression correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, and pain management here in Syracuse. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Amaduri does the Botox things? He does Botox. Have you, have you had those injections at this point? I have not. Okay. I'm hoping that that will happen soon. I don't know what effect that will have. <laughs> now, um, so you're, anyway, you're evaluated with x-rays, MRIs, and I think EMGs and nerve studies. And Dr. Zeidman had operated on you previously as a prior treating physician? Yes. Has Dr. Amaduri done anything, or is he just set up to do the Botox injections when they're approved? He hasn't done anything. He's hope he's tentatively going to do Botox, and I'm waiting for him to call me to set that up. 
as soon as possible. And New York Spine. Now, um, what all has New York Spine done? Have they done a series of injections and things of that nature? Yes. And all neck injections? Yes. Do you remember roughly how many? I think three. Two at least. Okay. Okay, two or three will do. Okay, now look, I'm going to read you what I have. This is where I got the impression that other tests were pending. I do have in my referral letter that uh, cervical spine MRI was requested and approved. Um, do you remember how long ago or what date? I had that done on June 29th. Oh, I guess that's two weeks or so. Um, have you seen Dr. Zeidman since that was done? No. Are you scheduled to see him soon? No. You're not? No. I put in a call. And I'm waiting. I'm hoping his office will get back to me. June 14, 12 note. That's probably the last one, is it? June 14, Manchester Spine. Sarah Locken. Does that sound familiar? Yes. The lady is on there. She works for Dr. Zeidman. Um, okay, so she said continue follow up Dr. Amaduri, pain management, Syracuse. Uh, they recommended you hold on chiropractic therapy until Botox and EMGs were done. They requested nerve studies. Does that sound familiar to you? I, I don't know. I don't know how much they tell you, you know what I mean? All I have is this paper. All um, I know is I had the MRI. That's it. And I'm waiting for all the tests. Yeah. Okay. I, I have nothing scheduled. Okay. Just know that I'm in severe pain. Okay, now, um, what what medicine do you take at present for this? I can't remember them all. I wrote them down. That works for me. Takes, I, I can read it if you like. It's okay. I can read it. Take Synthroid. Oh, okay. Uh, give me the ones first that are just for your injury. Percocet. 7.5 slash 325. One every four hours. Max daily dose of three. It's, it's okay if you just give me the names of the meds. Okay. Therica, okay. Lunesta, Fentanyl Patch, Tiazanine. Can I say that again? T-I-Z-A-N-I-D-I-N-E. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Cl Clonazepam. Amatiza. Spell that one for me. A-M-I-T-I-Z-A. Okay. And Miralax and Colace. Is the Miralax a, 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 a bowel thing? For yes. I was hospitalized okay. in May. 
No. For the constipation due to all the pain medications. So now I'm on all the, the Miralax and Coley's. Okay, now tell me, tell me your current symptoms here. Where's your pain? It starts in my neck. It goes down into my whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Both sides? Both sides. Is one side worse than the other? Left side used to be worse, but now the right side's just as bad. It's a burning pain. Yeah, it just radiates into here, where this is. So it stays right in that general area? It goes to here, yep. And on this side, here. And uh, that's where it was constantly until May 24th. And then, then I developed pain in my left leg. Started in my calf muscle as a spasm. And now it constantly spasms and goes into my toes. And it just goes down the left leg. And both hands now are constantly tingling. What part of the hand? The fingers. Thumb, mostly, but it goes into the fingers. All, all of them? Yes. It just feels numb. You said the calf pain goes up your leg? No. It goes, I don't know, it goes down my leg. It feels like the calf muscle just spasms, pain in my toes, feel like frostbite. So it comes from the calf down to the foot? No, it's actually on May 24th, I, you know, I, I let a chiropractor crack my neck. And, you know, I told the chiropractor, I said, he said, how do you feel? And I said, my neck still hurts, but I feel tingling, like frostbite in my toes. He said, we're loosening up the joints in your neck. Maybe that's a good thing. After the fifth adjustment, I told him that I have numbness and tingling in my hands, and I get spasms in my calf. He said, I don't like the direction this is going, and he stopped treatment. Dr. Zeidman said, don't continue chiropractic treatment, ordered the new MRI, had it done, and now I have neck pain, and now I have leg pain. And I don't know why, and my hands are numb and tingle. And the leg pain is limited to the left leg? Yes. Um, okay, now are you a married man or a single? Single. Do you live alone? No. I live with my parents. Okay, do you drive? Oh. Able to bathe, clothe, and feed yourself? Any assistance? Uh, do you do any um, housework or grocery shopping? No. Oh. Any hobbies in the past? I used to enjoy fishing. Okay. Now you're not working at present together. Um, have you worked since the day of injury? No. 
So five nine. Oh, wait a minute. The last day of work was the sixteenth. May sixteenth. Yes. Have you had prior injuries to your neck or back? I've never had any neck injury. And my back had, a, had an injury that uh, doctors I've been operated on. Do you remember what year that was? 2003. Tell me a little more about that injury and what you did surgically. I had back pain, just burning in this, my lower back. Was it a was it a workman's comp related thing? No. Or a motor vehicle accident? Or no. Of that nature? No. Just a home home injury. Mm -hmm. The uh, I saw several doctors and uh, no one could help me. I saw him. He ordered something called a therapeutic discogram. I just remember I went to the imaging place. I didn't know what was going on. The radiologist did something and he said, How do you feel? I said, The same. He said, Okay, how do you feel? I said, The same. And he said, How do you feel? And the immediate Whatever he did, I said, the pain is there. And then after that, he, uh, he said, I'm going to inject something to make it feel better. And then whatever he did, the pain was completely gone. And then I woke up, I went home, I, you know. I'm going to rudely interrupt you here for okay. a moment. Uh, so you had, you had surgery. Do you remember what the surgery was? Uh, yes. Uh, he, uh, they took out a disc, the disc that... There was one level of disc? It took out the L4-5 disc. And uh, I woke up in the hospital bed, pain was gone, and uh, I had no pain. And have you been good since then? Uh, Until recently? I've had no back pain. Uh, I've had no... I've been good. Do you remember how much work you lost around that time? Well, from the time he operated on me to the time it was healed, I think it was six months. It took six months to heal from the fusion. At that time, were you working at the video surveillance thing? No. But if I put lost about six months work, that would be accurate, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, after the surgery, it took approximately, I think, six months before I was after surgery. recovered to the point that I, you know. Okay, are you allergic to anything? Well, I know I'm allergic to the morphine that the pain clinic gave me. Because uh, I threw it up after I swallowed it. But uh, I've had morphine in hospitals before and I've never thrown up. Oh, oh, okay. So the pills you didn't tolerate? The pills I couldn't tolerate, but when I've been in the hospital and I pushed the button, I've never had a problem. That's better but uh, I know the pills they gave me, when they gave me morphine, I threw up. Have you had other surgeries other than the low back surgery to open up? Yes. Appendix yes. Had a umbilical hernia surgery. Did it? Yes. Okay. Do you have any known medical problems that you're treated for, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, I TB or cancer? Hypothyroidism.
seen a counselor for depression since this injury. But none of those illnesses that I mentioned, diabetes, high blood pressure, or... I don't think so. Um, do you remember what medications you're on for uh, low thyroid and depression? Synthroid 0.150 for hypothyroidism. And I talked to a, a therapist for depression. No, no meds? No. So you, uh, to date, have not heard anything from anybody about the outcome of the recent cervical spine MRI. I'm waiting and hoping. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have any record of it either, actually. Seems to me like it always takes about three weeks for the medical records to get into the chart in a way that you can use them. So. I hope and pray that this something can happen that will help me. Waiting for tests. If there's a, you know, I don't know anything. I'm waiting. Now, I'm going to need to check your reflexes, strength, things like that. And um, I'm going to ask you to, if you can slip off your shoes and have a seat on the end of the table. I really appreciate that. And I think you'll probably do that in front of the heels as well. I'll just let it go if I support it. Okay, we're going to do legs. Relax your muscles and you can. Let your muscles relax. Uh, I'm going to 
gonna slip off your socks here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Straighten your knee right out from here. There you go. Lock it right there. Don't let me bend it. Pull your foot up hard toward you. Go right up. Hold it up hard. Keep it up. Up, 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 up. Big toe up strong toward you. Hold it right up. Now, we do the same thing over here. Straighten this knee right out. Lock it. Lock it. Good. Pull your foot up hard toward you. Just foot up at the ankle and your big toe up. <coughs> so I'm going to... Um, okay, pull the foot up hard. <coughs> Tell me what you're experiencing. I don't know. Um, I, just, I feel pain. Where? Back of my calf. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll tell way. you what. Pull the foot up. Pull the foot up as you are now. Hold it up. Pull your big toe up strong. <coughs> Good. How's your feeling here and here? Here. Can you tell me how things compare here to here? Feel a little thick. Like, See that again? Like, or Funny on the left. This side. So are you, you're telling me that this <laughs> and this do not feel the same? The left is feel more like you know, funny bone or something. Tingling. Okay, now what about down here? Any the difference there? On the left. You just feel the left calf muscle now. It's just yeah. Okay. Feel the it's like Um, is there any difference between this and this? It just feels like it's falling asleep, like they tingle. Now, is there any difference between this and this? Not sure. I just my fingers feel like frostbite. You want to rub them together. Um, I, 
Now, are there any areas in the palms of either hand that feel normal to you? Here feels okay. On up here feels okay. Okay, now, when things touch the palm of your hand, I understand it doesn't feel feel right to you. Uh, you can feel something touching, though, can you not? So it's like the feeling feel. is altered, but but not totally absent. Is that correct? It's just like. This feels like something is flowing, and as it hits the tips of my fingers, that's where I feel it. And this feels like something is tingling. Mm. Like I like frostbite. When you come in from the cold, mm -hmm. and your hands start to yeah, that burn the frost. Thing. That's what it feels like. Okay, now, you told me that you're sore up here in the neck, right? These are my cold hands. I'm not pressing very hard on you. Is that tender to the touch at this level? It's where it hurts. Yes. Just, in there? Okay. Yeah, this is where it just feels pain. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you to not do anything that, that caused you an unusual amount of discomfort, but I want you to look up as far as you can. And then chin down on your chest. Now, we're going to ask that you look all the way that way, do what you can that's within your tolerance of discomfort. And the other way. Okay. Now, I don't, again, I don't want you to do anything that causes you an unusual amount of discomfort, but I'd like you to show me your strength, if you would. If you can bend this up and pull toward you, and I'm going to resist. You tell me to stop if it's bothering you, okay? okay? Hurting you is not my goal here. I want you to pull toward you. I want you to push toward me. Okay, same thing over here. Pull toward you. Push toward me. Okay. Now, hands up at the wrist. Hold them right up strong. Keep them there. Don't let me push you down. Same here. You should turn them over. Up like so. Bend them up at the wrist a bit. Hold them there. Again. Now open and just squeeze my fingers. Okay, good. You can step right down and get down with that.
Now, you, you have had your studies before, right? They're usually yes. memorable, and people remember them to a point where uh, they don't like having them done much. Um, mm -hmm. did, did they say anything about repeating their studies? Because it's in the note, but like I said, I'm not sure what they told you at your socks. They told me that, as far as I know, I don't know if I'm ha having any more nerve studies done. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I really, well, I neither I, do I. You know, I when I when I dictate reports, I try to do them in a way that reflects the source of the information. Meaning, I'll say the claimant is not aware of whether he's going to have them done or not. But the note suggests he was. That's all. That's all I, I got. So that's fair, I think. All I know is that my neck pain has been always been constant. Mm -hmm. Been living with it for over a year. I thought I'd try the chiropractor. In retrospect, I wish I hadn't. Well, they're sometimes very helpful. I mean, it's hard. You can't know that up front. You know, this is where I'm at. I have no idea what's wrong. I just know that now something's gone horribly wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, honestly, I'm hoping that there's a doctor out there somewhere, maybe. Not you, somebody well, that can help me. I can't be your treating doctor. I'm just an evaluator. I know. You, I know you have a job to do. But I've been suffering now for over a year. Every day I take more pain medication. It takes more and more to make me feel a little bit more comfortable. And my symptoms just get worse. So, that's all. I have no idea. Well, like I said, thank you for coming, both of you. And uh, take a moment to get yourself together and uh, check to see what's happening in my next individual here. So, okay. thanks for coming. If we can go through this story, we'll go through the law.